Hello everyone, welcome to another Precision Laser and Instrument uh, TBC tutorial video. Uh, today we will be covering the georeferencing of uh, AutoCAD files within TBC using the CAD rotate and move commands. Um, we want to make sure that all of our CAD files for layout are on the exact same coordinate system that everybody else is using on the project, so that way all the control across the board same coordinate system, no chance of fat fingering anything, and we can verify um, that all of our control is set properly because we can still revert back to site control set by the engineer. Um, this particular site is using a couple different control points shown in this PDF, um, and the two control points we're going to mainly focus on are this A4 and this A16. You do not want to choose two points that are too close together, otherwise your rotational angle could be a little bit inaccurate. It's kind of like the same as you, if you're using a total station. You want to have a longer back sight than you do a, a foresight. Same sort of idea here for a rotational angle. And we also need to make sure that whatever we choose inside of here is relatable to the CAD file. You can see here we have a few PK nails outside of the CAD file marked off in the sidewalks. Those sidewalks and those PK nails are not marked out in the CAD file, so I really can't use those, so I'm kind of tied to column intersections. So again, we're going to use this A4 and this A16. So if I come back into um, TBC, I can come up here and I can see there is the A and there is the 4. So the way that I'm going to do this is by actually using points to do this instead of trying to snap on a particular objects and figure out these angles. That's one of the things I like about TBC as far as being able to do a rotate and a move. So under our CAD tab we have the option here for create point and what I can do is I can mark this as uh, point one and select my northing. Now this is A4 here and you can tell whenever I put my cursor over top of this intersection nothing really happens. So what we want to do is come down to our snaps down here in the lower right corner, check our snaps, and we have an option here that's not currently checked which is intersection point. So I'm going to choose intersection point, hover over top of that, now you see I get that nice snap to the intersection. So there it is. I can add that point. So there's my A4. Come down here a little bit further. There's 16. So there's my A16 intersection and I will add that. That'll be point 2. So now I have point 1 and point 2, A4 and A16. Now if I do a measurement between these two, 1 and 2, you can see it comes out to be 3,024 feet. Seems to be a tad bit large um, for this particular project, but we can verify that here in one moment. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to create point, and this is going to be 3, and we'll make 3 be the A4 and I'm going to pull the coordinate for 3 out of this PDF. So for A4, the coordinates, I'm just going to read off the PDF here. Elevation doesn't really matter, so I'm not going to bother putting that in. Alright, so there's A4. Now we'll come down here to the A16 coordinate. Alright, so I can hit add and then close. Minimize this. Now 1 and 2 are the two points that are non-geo-reference and 3 and 4 are the two points that are. So if I come to my home tab I can open up another plan view and I'm going to make this be another vertical tab group. So I can zoom in on the other two points that I've created you can see here A, they're at an angle from one another, which they should be, and uh, they're also much closer together based upon this scale. So now if I take a measurement here between 3 and 4, 
you can see they're 252 feet away versus uh, 3,024 feet away. So if I open up my calculator, they're off by a factor of 12. So that means that the scale is going to be 252 divided by 3,024, 0.08333. So what that tells you is that the CAD file was drawn in inches and you're working in US survey feet. So we need to scale this CAD file down. So we already figured out the scale factors, 0 0.083 repeating. Highlight your CAD file along with your two points. Under the CAD tab, you have the option here to scale. Now I usually scale from the center of the project. Um, on a small project like this, it's perfectly fine. And we're gonna put in 0 0.83 repeating and that's going to give us the uh, CAD file at the proper scaling and we can verify that now by again taking another measurement from 1 to 2. So you can see here this one's 252 feet, this one's 252 feet and 5 thousands. So pretty dang good. So we're going to highlight the CAD file here and we are going to go to our move command and again what I like about TBC as far as moving things is instead of snapping to one and dragging over to the other I can just say let's move from one to three hit apply the whole CAD file is now going to move over to that other window and then there we are so now if I take a measurement between one and three they should be the exact same coordinate so there should be zero difference between them but if I take a measurement between two and four, they're 25 feet, about 25 feet apart. And that what that, the reason for that is the fact that the CAD file is square and the georeference point are not. So the whole thing needs to rotate. So in order to do a rotation, we're going to go into our rotate command and we're going to rotate around our first point which our rotation point is going to be point one. Now we need to figure out what the angle is. So best way to do the angle is if you right click in the angle you have the option here for doing a three point snap. So your three point snap your starting point is going to be the point over here which is point two. Our rotation point or our pivot point is going to be one again and where we're ending up is going to be point four. When I put all this information in, that is my angle that I'm trying to rotate, and I can hit apply. Now that rotates the point to the, to the right angle. Now I can do another measurement just to verify between two and four. And there's that five thousands, really close, pretty much dead on. At that point I can zoom out. This CAD is now properly geo-referenced to site control and, and ready to go out. So uh, if you have any other questions uh, in regards to this, you know, leave, them a, leave a comment down below. Um, talk to you later.